Hello, for the 40 million time. If there are still new of you viewers who don't know who I am, I'm Jeff the Killer. Which you should remember, because if you see this face hovering above you in the middle of the night while you're sleeping, well technically you're not sleeping, you're awake, but when you're in bed, then at least you know who your killer is. I have been on this channel for a shit amount of times. And I don't understand why. Well, why do you like me that much? What what am I doing? I'm just I'm just literally forced to sit here and do nothing when my knife gets taken away. Yes, and it is taken away again because I have to do something today. Okay, since you're already here, can you like give me tips on like how to get Slender to like trust me or like so you know he wouldn't take my knife away all the time? Because I really need some tips. Seriously. I think I'm pretty aware of what I'm doing today because, um, well, actually, I'm really not aware. Probably something to do with this envelope. It's addressed to me, and I have no idea what's in here. And I'm really hoping it's nothing annoying. Feeling. I don't know. Kind of feels soft like another paper, but like I'm not really sure. So why don't we get this video uh, started um, so I can go Halloween hunting and just get this over with. I ripped through the envelope because I don't give a about this. Care to explain to me what this is? Care to f explain? Am I about to do the same bullshit that I watched Lee Yu do a year ago? Hell nah. You know, I didn't think you could get any more annoying, but I guess I was wrong. So apparently you there behind the camera right now, um, asked me some questions. And there are a lot of them. I guess I have no choice. Let's just get it done with. Fine. First question. What is your real age? You have no idea how much I get asked that. And to be honest with you, I have no idea. I haven't celebrated my birthday in like... Forever, it seems. And to be honest, I've even forgotten my date of birth. The last birthday I do remember celebrating was when I turned 13, I think. But that was a while ago. So, I'm sorry, but I have no idea how old I am. Which is ridiculous, I know. But a killer, like me, doesn't need an age. Next question. Who is Jeff's favorite proxy? You know, I honestly hate all proxies, to be honest, because I hate Slenderman. But Toby's annoying. Masky, hoodie, nah. Um. Kate, I guess? I mean, her mask is pretty cool and like with clothes, uh, she has style. So, uh, I guess, I guess Kate, I have no idea. Next question. What would you do if you were inside a video game, but the only restriction was killing? I doubt I'm even gonna encounter such game in the future. I suppose, torture, you know. If you can't kill someone, torturing them is the best way you can still get enjoyment out of it. And of course, I always torture my victims before I kill them. Do you know Catella? No. Have you even changed clothes from when you got burned alive, or do you just not care that you've had the same hoodie and pants since then? Or do you change? You see, I'm not unhygienic, okay? Even as a killer, I care that much. So yes, I do have a spare white hoodie, and I do wash them both, and I also, well, I have one pair of pants, but like, I wash them. The reason why they're never clean is because, you know, I go hunting or killing daily, and uh, it just gets all messed up again. What do you think of Lou? Haven't I stressed this enough? Or are you just plain stupid to ask me 
this sort of question. To give you a short answer to that question, I hate him. And I think he's the worst fucking person existing on this earth. Next question. Hey Jeff. What do you think about Sally, and how bad did it hurt when you cut the smile in your face? Sally, huh? Okay, she's one of the most normal here in the mansion. So I guess she's okay, but I don't prefer, you know, being around her because I like being alone, but... I guess she can be cute. And as to answer the second part of your question... Yes. It hurt more than the sharpest spears made in hell. But the pain was pleasurable. All I felt was release from my old life and becoming someone new. Next question. How long is this question? What the hell? All right. Jeff, listen to me very carefully. Actually, wait. If I see one thing, you'll do the other. Anyway, have you just been using the same knife since you killed your parents? Or do you switch knives? I'm gonna stop here because this question is damn long, but... Yes, I have been using the same knife because... My knife is basically my baby. I couldn't ditch my knife for like some other knife, come on. You're in a relationship, right? You have one partner and you're not gonna start cheating on them, right? It's the same point with my knife. Plus, you're my favorite and I think your smile is beautiful. I didn't like the first part of that, but I like the second part, so no and thank you. Also, why do you have a completely different personality than you did before the incident? Because like, bro, you're happy, funny, even willing to help and make content for us, lol. And you actually think I'm willing to make content? I'm willing to, ha ha ha, yeah, good joke, I'm fucking forced to be here. Yeah, never mind, I don't like this person at all. Next question. If you could change something from your past, what would it be, and if not, why? <laughs> change the past, huh? Well, to answer your question, I wouldn't change anything. Because the past is what made me the person I am today. And if I change the past, none of this would have happened. And I wouldn't get to enjoy what I really like doing. Next question. Jeff, do you hate yourself? No. Jeff, what do you think would have happened if Leo had actually died? I hadn't even thought of it this way. I mean, he'd be dead, weighed off my shoulders. He wouldn't exist. And that's what there is. He just wouldn't exist anymore, and I would have gotten my satisfaction of killing him, I guess. And that's all there is to it. Next question. Jeff, does your smile hurt after a while? Or is it starting to scar, scab, and heal? Interesting question. But yes, it does start to heal after a while. But I won't let it heal. You know why? Because I have to keep smiling. So, I use my knife and I cut it wide open again. So I could continue smiling. Plus, if I let it actually heal, it would look like a lot like Liu and I- What would you do if you were trapped with your fangirls, but you couldn't kill them? <laughs> Such an unreal question. I don't need to be given an answer to this because it will never happen. And this is the last question. Finally, you can get over with this. How many people have you killed? I'm afraid I don't keep count on them. 
I don't have an answer for that. I'm sorry. Also, do you still care even the slightest bit about your brother? Would you care if he got murdered by somewhere other than you? <laughs> no. Why do people keep on asking me that? Do you think my answer will change in a bit of time? No. He ruined my life. Why should I care about him? And that's the second part of your question. Yes, I would have cared. Because Leo is my kill. Anyways, those are all the questions you had. Can you please leave me alone now? Now, I've gotta go get my knife back. I don't know how many times I've said that during my time here, but I gotta go get it back. Oh, and before I do, if you go trick or treating tonight, watch out for me. Because I will be on the move. <laughs>